All right, beautiful people of the world, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your daily horoscope, some honest astrology for Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 2021. All right, we're going to have, well, we got the moon around 11 a.m. moving into the sign of Aries, right? So it's like we're completing, we're finishing, wrapping things up here from Saturday. We're wrapping things up Sunday morning. And then we have this burst of energy as the moon, our emotional needs, enters the, the fiery sign of Aries, okay? The spark of the zodiac. We're taking the initiative. We're hitting the ground running. It's like we've taken Saturday... You know, it is kind of like, all right, what are we doing here? Where are we going? I, I'm coming into my, my, my space. I'm coming into owning my own inner weird, right? And now I'm running forward, okay? I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me. There's this beautiful song. What is it called? Pachamama. I want to be me. So me. This is like the being that I see. There is no right. There is no wrong, just love for one and all, <laughs> right? So it's like we're just being ourselves. We're just being ourselves. There's no right, there's no wrong, just love, you know, and celebrating ourselves. We, we're moving on, you know. It's like it's, it's taking the time to recognize a healing has happened. We can't rush a healing, but when we know the healing's happened, it's the next step. So if we're always focused on that, we got to go back and heal, where that's that's part of the record being on on repeat on loop. Oh, I must do this first. I must do this. Then I got to focus on this and heal this and heal this. And we never, you know, it's just like I've, it's, it's like the, it's like the student who wants to become the teacher, who's always saying, "I got to keep going to school. I got to keep going to school." And you've been in school for twenty years. You're more proficient than the professor at this point. But there's something in the head that's not allowing us to move forward to move on. Okay, so this is like completing completing this healing, completing this understanding, completing and closing this chapter of our lives so we can start a new journey, a new beginning, right? Had this beautiful new moon energy, you know? And it's like we still have as well, we still have Saturn creating this square to Uranus. And it's not going to be exact till I think the 17th, Wednesday the 17th. You know, so there's still an uneasy feeling going on in the air. There's still stress going on in the air that we're not going to be able to shake, okay? Uh, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> don't forget to breathe. Because now that this, the moon here is entering the sign of Aries, things get amped up. Our energy gets amped up, okay? Communication can be amped up today. Just like we talked about yesterday, sometimes emotionally, you know, uh, we explode like the volcano. Communication, things come out. We're not always keeping ourselves composed as well as we want to be. Mercury is retrograde conjunct Jupiter, our planet of abundance and more, uh, which this can lead in a couple different ways. This can be, uh, you know, the things malfunctioning, check your car, make sure you have enough fuel, make sure, you know, you're doing the little checkups, make sure we're cleaning out our computers, make sure we're cleaning out stuff off our phone, saving our pictures on our phone, saving any any messages that we wanted to save, making sure those emails are sent because this can go one of two ways. One is it a positive way, of course, where we have this beautiful uh, communication breakthrough or out of the out of the blue kind of communication coming in that brings a lot of joy and abundance to us. Or this can be the snowball effect of. Uh, you know, my alarm didn't go off this morning. I thought I set it. And then I went outside and my car won't start. The battery's dead on the way to work. The lights were out and now I'm late. And now the boss is yelling at me. And this can be, you know, this like snowball of one after another kind of energy, right? And with the moon emotions being in the fiery sign of Aries, that spark, it's like, <laughs> so we can be a little agitated. So, you know, it's not necessarily that we, we, we have the energy to slow things down. Mars is not moving fast. Mars is in Taurus. Mars is saying, like, this is about pacing. This is not, you know, this is the tortoise wins the race. It's not about running the, the, uh, the, the sprint. This is about the marathon, right? <laughs> um, so Mercury conjunct Jupiter, that can come out in two different ways. We're celebrating our own inner weird. We're moving forward, starting this new chapter and further... You know, Chiron creating that sextile, okay? Sextile is the easy flow of energy, all right? We have Jupiter and Mercury creating a septile to Chiron, okay? Let's go forward a couple hours here. There we go. 
So now the moon and the sun creating a septile to Mercury and to Jupiter. The Mercury, or excuse me, the septile is the fate and destined connection, which means whatever communication, communication comes out, whatever technology goes wrong, goes right, whatever is the abrupt thing that happens or the abundant thing that happens to us today, it was necessary, right? Sometimes when we have to cut someone off, cut someone out of our lives, it happens abruptly and it's a necessary thing. And we can emotionally say, man, I, I, you know, I wish it didn't go down like that. But at the same time, this is also how we learn lessons. You know, it's the consequence, the cause and effect of certain things in our lives. You know, we did this, we got, you know, you, you did something, you were speeding and you got a ticket. You know, or, or whatever the you know the hammer came down, and now it's just like okay, learning to deal with the consequence and learning to heal from this scenario doesn't mean that there was anything wrong. You know, this is a part again of our expansion, part of our expansion, and Mercury deals with not only communication but its insight and understanding. Okay, so this is a really really cool energy having Mercury conjunct Jupiter while creating that septile over here, fate and destined to the moon and healing Chiron. Okay, this is understanding there is a divine uh, force at work here and everything's working out how it's supposed to be and, and to allow this insight to come into ourselves to bring this healing as well as this sextile, which is an easy flow of energy. Okay, that's all it means. It means there's, let me come in, let me share with this. So the septile is fate and destiny. It means there's a force at work that's not human. It could, you know, extraterrestrial, you know, the, the Aquarian energy is that extraterrestrial kind of energy. Uh, oh, but this is almost more the Neptunian, Piscean, you know, spiritual, divine, divine fate, divine energy moving, making things happen that's unexplainable, okay? But it's lining things up perfectly. It's lining things up perfectly with almost without our understanding of our involvement or action in it okay we do have to act in this sometimes it's about acting sometimes it's about not acting but nonetheless our involvement of that co-creating experience is necessary you know for this to work out um the oh man i, I was there and i kind of slipped um bummer oh i'm gonna keep it we're gonna keep it going though um Oh, oh, this is what we're saying. Uh, so, so the, the septile, the septile is, you know, uh, there is forces at large working behind the scenes, okay? A trine and a sextile, okay, because those are energies we talk about quite often here. And when I say an easy flow of energy, okay, now we're talking about sprinting versus uh, running a marathon here in this Mars energy, right? Um, when, when we're sprinting, there can be hurdles, right? This you know, this is obstacles in our path. A, a trine or a sextile, a good way to look at this means it's just a straight sprint. It's from A to B. There's no hurdles. There's no obstacles. There's no roadblocks. There's no speed bumps. It's just, you know, it's not uphill. It's not downhill. It's just an easy flow, right? No hurdles. So the trine and the sextile energy both give you that sense of ease, okay? So Saturn here, Papa Bear, <laughs> Papa Bear, Saturn, you know, the ruler of the physical world, the, the karmic lord, if you will, um, creating this sextile now to the moon in Chiron is just saying, it's, you know, furthering what we talked about on, on uh, Sunday, Saturday, that it's okay to heal. You know, this is happening at midnight on the 15th, but, you know, that's uh, still within realms of Sunday evening uh, for most around the globe. So, so you know, th this is saying, like, take responsibility. This is an easy, it's an easy adjustment to take responsibility and say, okay, I'm here. I'm responsible for my happiness. I'm responsible for healing. I'm responsible for taking the record, the, the needle off of loop. I'm responsible for this. I'm responsible when I put the crutches down. I'm responsible when the cold is over to stop drinking NyQuil. I no longer need this. I'm responsible for my own uh, 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 weirdness. I'm responsible for my own um, 
interjections in society. I'm responsible for how I am interacting with people. I'm responsible for connecting with my soul tribe. You know, this is like this weird uh, JFK. I don't I mean, a lot of the presidents of the United States were Aquarians, not either of the, you know, our, our past or this current one. But uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if he was or not, so I shouldn't even say it, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it, it's, it's one of those, it's not what your government can do for you, but what you can do for your government. So, but then let's look at it. It's not what your society, it's not what your community is doing for you, but what are you doing for your community? All right. How are we giving back? And it's by saying, by owning this, by, by stepping up and, and, and assuming, um, authoritative leadership within the community. Okay. We're offering healing to ourselves and to others. It's cool stuff. And you know, and it's like, if you've been following this channel, the past couple of days, even it's, it's a progression, you know, it's just like the ast astrology, they build on one another, you know? So it's like, what was happening a day before the new moon to the new moon to moving through Pisces and completing the moon, moving through Pisces and completing, and now coming into Aries, you know, this is all, you know, when we look day by day, sometimes I, I have a hard time. I'm like, I, sh I should really do a weekly astrology. It's just a, it's a lot, you know, I should simplify these dailies and do a weekly because there's like an overview of energy, you know, and sometimes I'm afraid that I overcomplicate things and, and, and throw too much into some of these dailies. But then again, it's just like, well, this, this nugget might work for somebody and this nugget might work for somebody else. Either way, you know, I've just got to celebrate my own inner weird, my own chatty Cathy kind of self and, 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 and figure it out as we go, right? There's no right or wrong. And this is a constant learning and of expansion as I'm doing this with you, you know? So anyway, that is our, that is our Sunday fun day. That is happy Valentine's Day to all those lovers out there celebrating yourself, celebrating your inner weird, you know, bringing a, a abundance of communication, joy to yourselves, uh, some healing, some forgiveness perhaps is going on. Okay, starting a new chapter and hitting the ground running with a lot of, uh, of beautiful, intense emotions and that, that spark of energy, that spark of life w w that the, the Aries energy offers, right? So have a happy Valentine's Day, my friends. I love you and we'll see you tomorrow.